got a bunch of beauty blenders today. Everyone's always saying that you have to clean these at least once a week, which is so aggressive, and who has time for that, honestly? I'm gonna cut this open to see exactly how disgusting they get on the inside when you don't clean them. Ew. Welcome back, guys. Are you ready to do this? Because I'm so stoked to cut this little thing open. Oh my god, look at the end. Ew, that is so disgusting. So I think that the most nastiest part happened in the end because you really use this little edge to get in your nose and get in between your eyes. There's so much foundation in there. Also, that's a waste of makeup. So if you skip a few weeks cleaning your beauty blender, don't feel super guilty because you probably won't die. You could probably just trim off the nasty outside and have it be totally pristine. Voila! It doesn't look as pretty as the other one, but it's got some nice edges. You can get up all in those creases. This is like a DIY one. If you need like a super sharp edge and maybe like a really flat side, you can just snip off one end and boom! And you don't ever have to clean it. You can just keep trimming it every single time. Like any good lab, we've got some other test subjects to try. Let's see if they're as nasty as everyone says that they will be. This one probably hasn't been cleaned in four months. Ew! This one's way grosser than the other one was. This one hasn't been used in a few months. Definitely not as gross as I thought it would be. So you might be okay if you don't wash your beauty blender every single day. Once a month or every two weeks will probably be fine. But remember that there's still a ton of bacteria living on it. So to skip the breakouts, make sure you are washing it. Bye.